Hey, welcome back. It's me, Wasabi, and today we have another episode of Wasabi Has Spoken. A series of quick comparison videos. These videos are structured in a way to best highlight some of the things that stand out more for each product and share my preference with each game that I play. For people who are wondering which product I prefer over another, this series is made just for that and hopefully help you narrow down your list of options. And today we have the Lamzu Maya and the Super Light 2 from Logitech. Now here's a quick introduction. The Lamzu Maya is priced at $93.99 and it was released sometime in October or November just last year. It has a right-handed symmetrical shape. Sorry lefties. You know I honestly wish that more brands would create more ambidextrous mice designed for both left and right-handed gamers. That way more people can enjoy gaming peripherals. Sorry that's just something that crosses my mind sometimes. Anyway, this weighs in at just only 45.5 grams on my unit, listed at 45 grams on their website. This is Lamzu's first universal shape mouse. A lot of people look to this as a smaller alternative to the Superlight 2, but I really think a Viper would be a better comparison. But anyway, this video is for you if you're deciding between this and a Superlight. Logitech Superlight 2 is priced at $159. It was released in September last year and has a right-handed symmetric shape. It weighs just only 60 grams according to their official spec sheet and it's pretty accurate with mine at 60 grams as well. The Super Light is the most compact mouse to date. This being the updated version of the original Super Light had a pretty rough start because it's pretty much the same mouse as before with a few minor upgrades. But it still is pretty much the mouse that people compare the most to and surprisingly, it's selling pretty well in my country. Comparing the design between these two mice is like comparing a sports car to a potato, which in this case, the Maya obviously wins here. The Maya looks so much nicer in my opinion, and I love the detail the designers put into this mouse. Build quality and materials of the Super Light 2 makes it feel very solid and premium in the hand. I have to say that the Maya is very well built considering its size and weight, but Comparing the two, Super Light wins here. Super Light's squishy side buttons have the worst reputation amongst gamers and I believe that it will continue to be known as that for many generations to come. Even though the Maya side buttons have quite a bit of hollowness to the clicks, which I do not like very much, they are a lot more tactile and feel better for gaming compared to the Super Light 2. Lemzu's Huano Blue Shell Pink Dot Mechanical Switches <laughs> is probably one of the most favorite mechanical switches amongst gamers, but for some reason they do do not feel quite as crisp or enjoyable in the Maya design. Super Light 2 Light Force hybrid switches may take a bit more force to click but feels a lot more satisfying to me and has the performance and reliability of an optical switch. If a lightweight mouse is what you're looking for, between the two without a doubt, the Maya is incredibly lightweight and is the mouse I would recommend. It comes in at 45.5 grams on my unit compared to 60 grams on the Super Light. It's a very noticeable difference. So yeah, if you prefer lightweight mice, Maya is a great option to choose. An interesting thing to know is that both these mice are considered to have a universal shape. The Super Light 2 being quite a lot larger in size feels a lot more comfortable holding the mouse over a long period of time. Comfort wise, the Super Light 2 does it for me, but some people may prefer the Lamzu Maya. Like with every point on this video, it's really based on personal preference. The coating on the Lamzu Maya has improved quite a lot over their previous mice, the Lamzu Thorn and Atlantis. Very evenly coated, but for some reason, it feels a lot smoother compared to the Super Light coating. And I do find that I have a lot more grip with the coating on the Super Light compared to the Maya. So this next part is purely based on personal preference to share which mouse I prefer for different games. Both the Lamzu Maya Maya and Super Light 2 are rather comfortable to use, but from my experience with editing and writing from morning to night, I found a lot more comfort using the Super Light 2. I must say I quite enjoyed using the Maya when playing Overwatch 2. I use the side buttons a lot more frequently here compared to other games that I play, and the weight feels great for tracking. For me, Lightweight Mines feels right at home with Modern Warfare. Gameplay is much faster compared to Overwatch and Valorant, so having a nimble mouse like the Lamzu Maya in hand is what I would prefer over the much larger Super Light 2. It's a little difficult to explain, but I'll try my best. When playing Valorant, I very much prefer using medium-sized mice because I feel that it gives more support and feels a lot more planted when 
aiming. Whereas a smaller or mini-sized mice will feel a lot more nimble and snappier, but you kind of lose the support and stability you would get from mid to large sized mice. Okay, this is a really fun game I like to play with my brother. We've killed each other more times than I remember, but that's okay. Anyway, for a casual game like Helldivers 2, the Super Light 2 is the more comfortable option I would choose to play with. And lastly, for single player games like Cyberpunk, I'm always amazed at how incredibly detailed Night City is. Truly an incredible job by the design team. Gaming for long hours here, Super Light 2 feels a lot better. This is not to say that the Maya isn't comfortable, it is for its size, but it lacks the support against your palm and stability of a bigger mouse. And that's where I find a lot more comfort with the Super Light 2. The Super Light 2 is the more expensive mouse, the quality, tech, and iconic shape is what you're paying for with Logitech's eSports mouse. Quality is fantastic with my unit, and I love the feeling of these clicks when you pop a headshot. It's a sensation I have not experienced with other mice, and I do enjoy it quite a lot. The clicks are very loud compared to other mice out there, but I game with headphones or IEMs most of the time, so it doesn't bother me much. So if I could only pick either one to use for the next two to three years, I would have to go with the Super Light 2. I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in this setting. It's kind of driving me nuts, but I'll figure it out. Now, this is not to say that the Lamzu Maya is a bad mouse. In fact, quite a lot of people would prefer using the Maya over a Super Light any day of the week. It's more affordable, has great build quality, very lightweight and its specs are up to date with today's trends. My hand size is 17.5 by 9 and if my hands were any smaller, the super light would be way too big. I love how nimble and easy it is to do micro adjustments with a small mouse like the Lamzu Maya, but I can't help but feel that there is a lack of stability compared to using a mid-sized mouse. But of course, it depends on how you hold the mouse and if you're rocking a fingertip grip, that is not something that I think would concern you. I am quite excited to see how the Lamzu Maya will improve with its next version though. But until then, the Super Light 2 is what I would go with. If you're curious to know more about either mice, I've done a review on both of them. It goes into detail of what you can expect from the product itself, some things that I like, and some things I feel that can be improved. And you can check them out on my channel. Having a little change here in the setting, but this is only temporary, still working out the lighting. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. New content coming out every week and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Right, there you go.